Gwinter's Fun Fact. Turtles can breathe th through their butts. We imagine you know some people who do that too, because that's where their heads reside. Here's Mike Winters. I'm finding more and more people like that nowadays. Just saying. Every day. <laughs> I had no idea that turtles did that. <laughs> wow, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Hard to follow. Didn't ask how they eat. But anyway. <laughs> how are we going to talk about American Legion after that? <laughs> Be prepared. Just like that. But uh, good morning. Good morning. It is uh, 22 minutes after 9 o'clock. And then uh, Jen and Lee officially joining us here from uh, American Legion Post 61 family. Commander Lee of the Legion and uh, president of the Auxiliary Gen back with us. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yeah, how's uh how's things going? I know we've been busy. Uh, I've been trying to keep up to date in the in the group text here, but... Uh, it's been going kind of fast and furious, and I've been able to keep up on there. Lots been going on. And well, and other other than the last fifteen minutes, everything's been fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it's been really busy. Uh, I'm good at adding a wrinkle, but uh, yeah. um, well, right after, well, we didn't, we did never did talk about the parade because this is the first time that that's I've right. Been here. The parade was uh, an <clears throat> awesome experience uh, from our perspective, and uh, mm -hmm. I think everybody that came. We had a great uh, turnout. Uh, yeah, we for, had a wonderful turnout. Yeah, yeah, from my perspective, more people turned out for this one than people did in years. Uh, yeah. And I rolled up uh, Main Street myself, and uh, there were people on both sides of the street almost every yeah, Street so thank you very much, out Roswell, for turning out for your yeah. entrance. And they waved. and Yeah, big thank you to everyone that came out. Thank you to American Legion Post 28 uh, for working <clears throat> And uh, partnering with us once again on this and happening. Special thank you to all of our volunteers, our scouts, our, our guest speaker, oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Swickard, everybody. Oh, yeah, he that, did an awesome talk. That, that came in and was a part of our Veterans Day. Uh, it was a complete success because of all of you. Tom Blake. Tom Blake, uh, once again, make, setting the tone. Of course. And him Mike, and his musicians. Mike Winter. I, ha I had the easy job. I just sat there and looked pretty. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> actually, that's really hard for me. But. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, it did turn out really uh, Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was wonderful. And uh, thank you to everyone that, that participated. Oh, and the car show people. The I mean, car the, show folks. The, were yeah, great. the alien guys. Motorcycle the guys. Motorcycle guys. guys and... The veterans transport. They, hopefully they, I hope they got their folks and the vets in the. I know I made a couple announcements trying to get uh, get their van loaded up for vets there. Hopefully they did get I those. think so. I, 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 of course, was in the front of the parade, so I didn't see half the people that yeah. were in it. But my understanding is we had a lot of participants. We yeah. even had one of the, the bands from the high school. Yeah. I believe yeah. it was Roswell, the Roswell, Roswell High Band. Yeah, that there. was wonderful. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, NMMI had some of their uh, yep. uh, groups Nimi, out yeah. there. Youth Challenge was able oh, to make Challenge. it out. Oh, with the flag. With the garrison they, flag. Yeah, that is always impressive. That, yeah. that, I love that. They really set the tone for oh, our, our yeah. They do. We appreciate their being there. It'd be hard to top next year. Yeah. yeah. Juliana Howerson shot some great video and pictures from the event. I've seen Good. quite a bit of it online. Hopefully people got a chance to see I've seen pictures in the paper and yeah. stuff, but not from her. I think from... Uh, I saw like the reporter. Like you know, she had that big giant selfie stick cam. Yeah. Thing. Oh, was yeah. That so she was what doing that is. yeah. So okay. she was like with the with the uh, with the garrison flag and all that. She was like going over and going around some of the cadets and it just Very looked cool. really cool the way she she had it. She she's pretty good at that. That's what you know, that's her her passions, photography and nice. videoing and all that. So she she did a great job watching some of the or me she did a great job doing it. I just sat and watched it, but it was really cool. Was <laughs> nice. So. Yeah. Very nice. So go dig online if you see, and you can see some of those if you miss those. But um, yeah, it, it was great. Uh, big thank you to all that have done that. But that that was that was a couple of weeks ago. We you guys have been busy since then, gathering yeah, a turkeys. Bit. Had wow. a, a guest yeah, in town. Before we get to that, we should talk about Memory Lawn. Memory Lawn Cemetery. A lot of progress has been made yes. there. Yes, we put up a a brand new flagpole. Awesome, yep. seventy footer with an eighteen by twenty five garrison flag on it. Oh, wow. uh, we're redoing that uh, center part. Yeah. I mean, Henry did a great job. That's great. Yeah, the new owner, Henry Mayhew, <clears throat> he, he put in a lot of money and effort on that. So yeah, it's a big thank you to him. And the VFW and a bunch of citizens were out there when we dedicated are the there, pole. Are there lights on that flagpole? Or are they gonna there is. It? Okay, good. Good. There's good a, so it can be up there all, all oh, the time. Oh, yeah, there's good. a solar uh light right at the top awesome yep it follows the flag it's kind of cool to watch <laughs> yeah actually it spins yeah that's great so it's it can be up there for all eternity yep till it needs to be replaced 
after weather does its thing to it at some point. Yeah. I'm hoping it lasts a little longer than Well, it's an all-weather flag, which, you know, that's something. Yeah, that's... but those are $1,800 flags. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're pretty pricey. pricey. They are pricey. But, you know, that's one of those things. You, it's But if you're going to be a flag flyer and doing that, you got to do the etiquette. And that's, that's right. And uh, uh, Ralph right Green, uh, he repaired the gate. So the gate could actually close now. Okay. And so now we're preparing to strip that uh, fence paint, and yeah. we're going to paint it. Oh, right. good. Okay. That we're way talking it'll about last. moving uh, that Veterans Memorial <clears throat> closer to the flagpole. And uh, I know that Henry is going to start. Uh, we're going to move the, the headstones, the gravestones, mm-hmm. so we can do a bunch of grading and backfilling. And then we're going to put them back straighten them out gotcha and, and uh number them and make so that's, sure people that's can to fix the, fix the graves that are sunk in and things yeah. like that right, to yeah. basically get all the filler in but at the same time you don't want to destroy any of these headstones by accident no, doing no, that no, so no, no, no. so they're going to preserve those move yeah. them do what they got to do to the land and then put them back as they yeah, henry will be here first week of uh december and uh we'll be beating with him and we're gonna line all that out okay yeah yep. that'll so, be a job Woo. then we went on to turkeys uh yeah we, we had, had the, the flagpole on the on it was actually installed on veterans day <clears throat> on is, veterans day was the perfect. day when yeah it, is it was a, very cool yeah, it, it finished late on the 11th and then we dedicated it on uh, saturday morning so did y'all do the 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 22 push-ups after it was done there we did, we did. that's cool I actually yeah. the video is on our website awesome yes. I did it girly style, but I did 22. I, I did it up against the wall, but I did do all of them. Nice. So. Congratulations. That's uh, awesome. And even Don Weld. Well, that man's 77 years old. He did all. Well, that man ran a, a marathon on Veterans Day, by the way. We uh, he, That morning before he was helping doing the parade and everything, he was running the. the he ran the 5K. He ran the 5K right he, before and that. Sean did too. Yeah, and Sean did too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's those Marines. Crazy yeah, Marines. Like crazy yeah, Marines. They're, they're, they're a little different. Well, according to Sean, they both had crayons for breakfast. So, uh, got to go in there. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see. So um, I imagine if you're listening and you're part of the public uh, and you're thinking, oh, they're doing all this stuff at Memory Lawn. I want to uh, – accepting donations. Oh, if you'd yeah. like to help out. If you'd like to physically roll up your sleeves and get involved, they have – Please. scheduled we, work we events need, that happen. We need volunteers. We need money. We need all that stuff. And uh, and like it, and, and and people have done this. And you can, um, if you would like to make a donation, we can earmark it directly for Memory Lawn. For I mean, sure. you can and like if you give the American Legion Post sixty one <clears throat> check and you say, hey, this is for you guys. We'll yeah, you write it in a little memo line. But what you do say, you want it to go towards? Yeah. Then but say, it has to go to that. Yep. So. And we've got separate funds for the Memory Lawn. Yes, we do. The, the, the post funds and all that stuff. So um, I probably would be remiss in not reminding everybody that we had a great bunch of people donate this year. Awesome. Uh, everything from Artesia. We had CV. Uh, Central Valley Electric. Central Valley Electric. CVE uh, donated. We had Ballard. And uh, we had Reineke and Reineke Chimera. Medical. Chimera, did, ooh, Chimera stepped up to the plate this year. Oh, good deal. And they gave us. About five times what they normally give. Well, thank you. That's awesome. That was awesome. And yeah. uh, I'm sure I'm missing some. I think here. Southwest Printers did our Oh, yeah. Our they did posters. all our posters. Oh, yeah. In fact, they hooked we still us have up. Some yeah, there. we got uh, yeah. I keep them around for collector's things. <clears throat> yeah. I don't throw yeah. those away. I keep them. If you'd look in, a, in the other room, we really have a stack of posters for. But plastic. Kremlin, of course, uh, helped to refund our uh, Normandy Harpole scholarships, too. They gave us another $1,000. Awesome. Thank you yeah. for that. Uh, yes, to the Kremlin Auto for Group sure. for allowing us to be the conduit to help some other kids in our communities. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, however, we do know that um, I'm probably going to combine that with the 500 that we still have left over. And uh, create a fifteen hundred out of that one, okay? Be- because we've got four twenty five hundred dollar ones coming next oh, year. Good deal. So and uh, inflation and all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's we, true. We, we don't want to make that five hundred look too puny, you know, so. <laughs> right? This day and age, that five hundred gets you a gallon of milk. <laughs> Sometimes I'm beginning to wonder. Yeah. Well, and uh, the 
Murphy Oil. They gave us a hundred dollars worth of gas. That's which great. Was yep, they awesome sure did. Yeah, which is very valuable out there when you got a lot of weeding and grass cutting and and yeah, come power spring, tools. We're going to really gas. use it. I'm yeah. sure. Cause, yeah, because we don't exactly plug in somewhere. Yeah, well, we're going to plug um, it into. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> that solar I, light that's lighting up the flagpole. <laughs> and and we're going to be starting to work on. I'm not sure what the time frame is, but we're going to get the watering system going. Okay. So. Yeah, that's kind of been a, a sticky wicket because it's been there and fixed and replaced and then torn up and destroyed. It's one of those things that we got to get something in place, but at the same time, we got to find a way to protect it so well, we vandals and things can't come things in. And stuff like well, that. unfortunately, plumbing is made of valuable metals <laughs> and things that people like to steal and buy and, and steal it and sell it for well, drug money. And that's, yeah. Fixing the fence is going to help some of that. Yeah. But... That's the same problem we have in radio because there's a lot of copper and stuff in our power wires and things and yeah i people bet steal yeah, that I heard stuff. something about that where and some overnight, people overnight somebody stole all the copper out of something and yeah and some people are dumb enough and crazy enough to gone climb towers and do it and you're you're oh, asking to get electrocuted doing some dumbness like that but <clears throat> yeah yeah people do it it's what happens and we donated a bunch of turkeys yeah, uh, yeah. we drove around monday and gave away a bunch of turkeys to uh um Rivers of Life, we okay. gave it to... Uh, to the homeless shelter. The homeless to... shelter up on... What was it? What's it called? Rivers of Life's the one. Right. Well, that's one. Yeah. And then we one... did the, the women's the shelter refuge, over The Rouser on... Refuge. Right. Yeah. Rouser Ruff, refuge. Rouser refuge. Domestic violence shelter. Awesome. Yeah, we tried to give some to the nuns, but uh, we found out that they don't eat meat, so... Yeah, they... We kind of look kind of silly when we were over Nuns there. don't eat meat in general, or those nuns? Those nuns eat <laughs> only fish. Oh. Fish, yeah, they don't do poultry or okay. beef or so pork. So we gave one to um, that private nursing home. Yeah, the, the oh. beehive homes. Beehive. Oh, yeah, beehive. Okay. They were yeah. real appreciative of oh, that. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Very happy. And then the community kitchen, mm -hmm. gave a couple to them. Awesome. They can use every little bit. And yep. I'm not sure where Don put his. He gave them, I think, the one of the Boys and Girls Clubs. Boys and Girls Clubs. Yeah, doing their so. Thanksgiving thing. Uh, I think they had, they had their last one yesterday. They, they did a Thanksgiving meals for everybody. These last two days of leading yeah. up. To yeah, I'm not sure. No, which I think one. he tried to do Boys and Girls Club, but the rest of the community had been very generous, so yeah. he had to give them somewhere okay. else. They were covered. Well, that's right. a good thing. That's good. delivered like 150 turkeys somewhere, so it's right. like, well, we won't be dropping it. Right, and that's actually <laughs> through Sean. That's where we got some of our turkeys too. Okay. Is through, from uh, Laprino. Laprino. He yeah. gave us eight of them, which was very kind of them. Who'd have think the guys with all the cheese had a bunch of turkeys? Right, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I never would have guessed. I wonder, we need to ask them, what's the rule? I know we talk about stuffing and dressing. What if we stuff the turkey with cheese? Oh, boy, that'd be a mess. Make it like a <laughs> giant meat hot pocket. Where you just <laughs> cut into it and this cheese goos right out. Yeah, yeah. In this day and age, we can make that happen, I That's feel. That's true. They put cheese in crust pizzas. We can certainly put it in a turkey. I suppose. <laughs> You'd have to, like, backfill it with stuffing so it doesn't ooze all that out. That mozzarella then... cheese they got? Oh, man, it'd be perfect. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, Enrique, <laughs> what is she telling me? She says, Roswell Community Relief, Enrique Moreno. Oh, the Community that's Disaster where Relief. That's took his turkey. Oh, good, the Community Disaster Relief. Yeah, another yes, great organization. that's what it was. They, uh, they, uh, they just go where, the, where, where people need help. That's what they do. And uh, whether... It's weather related or something unnatural. They go to help people where people are needing help. That's what they do. So, yep. good deal. Well, I'm glad that uh, it sounds like everyone uh, that uh, got turkeys are definitely going to put them to good use here for, for sure. Uh, we had a lot of art contest people come in um, K through two, and uh, we had a bunch of uh, elementary, middle school, and high school. We're still cataloging some of them. But we did display them down at uh, at the mall. At the mall yep. for a week, we're allowed to do that for a week, and so we. Did we had the young man week. that uh, <clears throat> submitted his essay, the, the the winning essay for the Veterans Day. Yeah, he read it on online. He was what, on eight air. Eight o'clock hour, I think it was. Yeah, go back 11. and check that out. He's a great young man. He was a bright young man. Yeah, that was fun to listen to. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, he's, uh, I, I, every time <clears throat> when I have days, then you see the news, and you're just like, oh my goodness, and then I'll have a conversation with a young young person like that and then i start feeling a little better i'm like all right maybe all it's not doomed there's some there's some smart ones coming up here might help us yeah, out yeah <laughs> i know the feeling that's actually how i felt when we went around to the various veterans day celebrations at the schools it's mm -hmm. like okay there is hope yet for our society <laughs> yeah. and our next big project right now is reese across america yes. and mm -hmm. we, we need donations 
desperately. For that. Uh, for folks that aren't familiar, explain, explain the, the Wreaths Across America program. So Wreaths Across America is, it was started back in Maine by a, a gentleman that had his own business. Okay. He, he does wreaths and flowers and all that sort of stuff. And come around the holidays, he had an, a, super, a surplus of the live green wreaths. Okay. And because he had done stuff with his father as a, as a boy, he wanted to go to Arlington and pay tribute to the veterans. So he okay. took his extra wreaths. And then in about 2005 or so, things got really big and everybody wanted to participate. So he started the nonprofit Wreaths Across America. Okay. And their mission is to honor, remember, and teach so you honor the veterans, you remember them, and you teach the children why they're important and oh, cool. patriotism. So, so it's really a twofold or threefold, really, mm-hmm. uh, of recognition and 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 uh, celebrating, and at the same time right. preparing uh, the future for the next generation of veterans. Right. Yeah. I know a lot of people probably just think Reese across America is just you know decorating graves, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's to pay tribute to the veterans and their families, and to remind the youth and teach them the importance of patriotism and veterans That's and all of great. that. So their mission actually goes hand in hand with the American Legion, which Sound is why like. we decided to partner with them. Makes sense. Yeah. So perfect. each wreath costs 15 bucks. Okay. Yes. But uh, there are uh, 297 veterans at memory lawn and then any, uh, but we'll probably spread them around a little bit because I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get, you know, that many this sure. year, but, uh, any donations that could come in would be awesome. Sure. Uh, the Put best, it this way. As many way... races we can buy, they're going to go on veterans' <clears throat> uh, gray sites right. here in Roswell. The best way to donate, if you want to donate to Reese Cross America, is on my webpage, roswelllegion.org. Okay. If you scroll down to where the four pillars are, there's a donate button just on the left-hand side. Okay. Just any amount, it'd be Fantastic. Yeah, but well, 15 bucks is a cost of one reef. So if you donate that, that's a yeah. whole reef. That's one more reef we can put right. uh, to honor uh, a family here. So, But I know that Memory Lawn is buying uh, uh, $300 worth of wreaths and uh, Post 28 is donating. Okay, good. A couple of our members. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. So is, is, is 28 going to put some out itself? Or <clears throat> is that their plan? or? I don't know. They donated to our no, cause. No, they're supporting so... us. Oh, yeah. cool. That's very awesome. I appreciate it. But I plan on putting a wreath down at Chavez County Lawn and uh, also yeah. probably a couple down at uh, McBride okay. or, or even South Park, yeah. depending upon how many we get. Yeah, and if we got enough, maybe one at the Veterans uh, here on the Courthouse Lawn, the Veterans uh Mm-hmm. Memorial there, too. right? Yeah, there yeah. too. That's I know what, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking about the one at South Park. That no, <laughs> no, McBride is a different one, but yeah. the Chavez County Courthouse lawn where we had the parade. Good news uh, is we have more than one Veterans Memorial, so that's that's it the is. good it's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good it? to see we've, we've, you know people do care about that, and yeah. they are here in existence. That's that's a good problem to have. Yeah, so. our our goal eventually in the years to come, because at South Park there's over three thousand veterans, mm-hmm. and dating you know way back. And then there's obviously a lot at McBride mm-hmm. and then roughly 300 at Memory Lawn. So hopefully one of these days we'll be able to cover all of them. But That would be the goal. That's, if we can that's get, our goal. But eventually. this is year one for, for Roswell. Right. So uh, small bites. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> well, not year it's one not for Roswell. It's not year one for the Roswell thing. Uh, Marianne Murphy was running it for a number gotcha. of years. Right. It's just year one for, for American Legion. Yeah, she decided yeah, I'm after... the new area coordinator for, gotcha. the, yeah. for this, and I'm just trying to do you know, try to make this one a big year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good deal. So if you're interested, again, roswellegion.org is the website, and you'll see uh, the link there below the pillars. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I think it's just above. Just the above it. But you'll see the link there. It's a donate uh, button. For Reese Across America. you also find links to donate to the Post and Memory Lawn and everything else there, too. And, of course, you want to learn more about our scholarships uh, we were talking about earlier. You'll find mm-hmm. uh, information about those. And, uh, oh, is that gone now? It's not down? there right now, okay. but it, it will be. Okay. Um, I just found out through my wife last night that um, uh, Ian M N Ian and M U R mm-hmm. had redone our scholarships, so I'm oh. going to have to okay talk to them about so, that. So some some updates coming to that one. Well, they got a date and everything, so. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to scramble at this point. <laughs> yeah, so it's just above the four pillars to the left. Okay. You know? 
But again, you go to roswellnmlegion.org. You'll find it all there. And uh, explore. Explore around and uh, see what Roswell else. Roswell Legion. Roswell or... Legion. Did I add the NM by accident? I'm well, that's, if you're going to go that way, you'd have to say nmlegionpost61.org. It's a whole lot easier just to remember roswelllegion.org. Very good. And then if you remember none of that, just Google American Legion Post 61. or Yep, it actually comes up. And you'll find it there, too. It so. does. But, and, of course, if you <clears throat> want to become a member, we are always looking for new folks to be part of our auxiliary, our legionnaires, and our sons. Um, you know, as a legionnaire, you, you know, pretty much if you served honorably since we're Pearl Harbor, you're eligible any time after Pearl Harbor. Uh, and for sons, even if your, you know, parents, grandparents served mm-hmm. in World War One, it yeah. still works. An auxiliary, if you're, you know, if you're a, a, a spouse of, mm-hmm. or spouse of a veteran, or a, a like a daughter, or a, yeah, you can do daughter, granddaughter, sister, mother, any of those. Yeah, work now. A spouse granddaughter. can be a male. Yes, they so can. So if your wife was the veteran, you. As a husband, are eligible to become part of the auxiliary. We do have a gentleman that has joined our membership. Yeah. Now, if you're a son of, then you will join the sons, not the auxiliary. Right, yes. So if your father was uh, served in the military, you're eligible to be part of our sons of America. Yeah, sons, uh, grandsons, and I believe, is it great-grandsons as well? Um, yes, I would assume so. Okay. okay. So um, it goes pretty darn far down the, tra- uh, the yeah. tree there. Yeah, our next meeting is... December, December second, I believe. Second. December two, yeah, which is the so. same day Henry's going to be here, but that'll be at night. Right. Yeah. Our our meetings are the first Thursdays of each month mm-hmm. at six o'clock. Uh, this we meet. particular meeting is everybody. Okay. So it's a, a full. This is joint a full meeting. joint meeting, so we've got legionnaires, sons, and auxiliary participating. And it'll all be at next 6 p.m. Month. December 2nd. And it's at uh, First United Methodist Church there on Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where we meet. Uh, well, if you come by almost, not tomorrow, but pretty much every Thursday in the evening, the auxiliary is usually there working on uh, craft yes, projects something. and things. Yeah, nobody's going to be there for Thanksgiving. But tomorrow no one will be there. But yeah. next Thursday, we'll have a, that'll be December 2nd. That'll be our first, yes, sir. Our, our final meeting of 2021, I guess, huh? I guess yeah. it will, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, and our anniversary of our post is December 19th. So, oh. uh, Reese for Cross America is on oh. the 18th, and then our anniversary is on the 19th. Thought we yeah. looked a little older. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually probably good. We should tell them about when we're actually doing this Reese Across America thing. We're December actually December 18th. December 18th is a Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Congress decides, I think it's every year, what Saturday in December that they're going to do Wreaths Across America this year. It's the 18th. Okay. It happens at 10 a.m. Okay. Across America. Everybody's laying wreaths and saying the veteran's name on the gravestone oh, cool. to pay tribute. So even if you have allergies and can't do the wreath, come anyway because we need everybody to recognize our veterans yeah. and we we'll need, need your help. We need people to help locate them. Yeah, and we'll need yes, we'll need help locating our veterans as well. So reach out if you're interested. Yeah, because until yeah. we redo the the headstone, uh, uh, some of it is guesswork. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, <laughs> we've been working on the middle section and a little bit on the original section. I guess we worked a little on a section too. Yeah, we've been working on just all of them. a little bit, but we haven't been out there in a while trying to find the graves. Mm-hmm. But uh, we will be out there soon again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Digging around on our little piece of ground. But if you'd like to be a part or hearing this, want to donate uh, $15 or a million dollars or whatever you can afford. <laughs> $15 million? Yeah. That'd be fine. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good with that. Rouse I Legion think it's only your family going to do that. <laughs> so. I don't know where we're going to get it from. but uh, yeah. <laughs> RouseLegion.org has a website there. Yes. Uh, is there anything we missed? No, uh, we're pretty much going to take, uh, after the 19th, I think we're just going to take some time off. I don't believe we have anything other than meetings scheduled for the rest of December and January. Mm-hmm. But uh, in February, we'll be having uh, four chaplains. Mm-hmm. That's a great so ceremony. Be our, that's going to be our next big thing. So Yeah, that's a good one. That's one of my favorite ceremonies. Yeah, yeah. it's very moving. Yeah. It's a good story. It's just a, it's a great story. I it mean, is. it's it's a tragic story, but it's a great. It's a, it's it's full of just because you. It's a sad, but it, it's one of those things that like you. After every time I hear the story, I always think back and like, would I have the courage 
to do what those guys did. I'd like to say I do, I would, but I mean, until you're put in that scenario, you never know. You never know. But uh, I always think back, and I just like, could I do what those guys did? And and, and I'd like to say I could, but I mean, until I'm there, well, it's I really... mean, we did uh, veterans in the classroom this mm-hmm. year too. Uh, leading up to, like on Veterans Day, I was at uh, Goddard. Mm-hmm. That was and, fun. And uh, we actually were talking to sophomores and. Uh, it was slow at first, but then they started asking a bunch of questions. I brought my uniform down there and a picture of the plane that I was on. And, boy, there were some kids down there, and they were just excited to learn about it. Other kids, not so much. But, uh, <laughs> and then we attended their pep rally. Mm-hmm. Yep, I haven't been and one of those in years. <laughs> I, I, I hadn't been hit with confetti so much in my whole life. <laughs> <clears throat> then the next day we went down to... Um, uh, was it Sierra Middle School? Mm-hmm. I think it was. And, Mountain uh, View. Oh, no, it was Mountain View. Okay. And Louis actually talked down there. And we learned yeah, that he did a good job. He learned, we, we learned that the human body has 209 bones, according to him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Minus one rib. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. But we got to uh, see the Goss uh, rifle. Crew, the, oh, cool. the, the mini, yeah, they did that uh, at Roswell High. We went and, to theirs too. That was pretty yeah, cool. So that's great. I'm well, glad a I, lot of that was good. I love that part. That's the best part of Veterans Day is the is the raising awareness for our, our yeah. I didn't folks. get to go to Nimi for breakfast because I had to do uh, I had to make a choice. So I did vets in the classroom. Yeah. And, so I didn't think with my stomach this year. Well, uh, they they had <laughs> quite the turnout from what I heard, and uh, everything mm-hmm. went well there. So. Good. I'm yeah. glad it did because I know they didn't yeah, get then to we last year. we went over to Roswell High School, and they did a big thing down there too. Awesome. So yeah. that was good. I miss them too. I'm stuck here doing. Yeah, show. you're stuck here. <laughs> Next year we'll take pictures for you. There you go. <laughs> That's well, some good and fired by then. I thought we took some <laughs> pictures. <laughs> And I've been putting pictures on our website. Yeah, you can go late. check them out. We yeah. posted pictures of the drive-through mm-hmm. for the Halloween, and then uh, some videos that Ralph had done. Yeah. And, in fact, Ralph just gave me another video, which I haven't posted yet. But he took his drone out there. Oh, that was oh, cool. and did some flyers. And he that. flew over memory lawn, and he uh, did one down in Dexter too. I mean, it's yeah, just a different view of the. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Put that it to music cool. and all that. It's pretty good. And then. Of course, his tribute to his son, and then the, I posted the White Star Ceremony mm-hmm. that we had. Mm-hmm. Um, most of it got recorded. Appar- apparently, there was a video glitch, but it, it, it was done very well, yeah. and I really appreciate his video yeah. He's skills. He's hit the ground running since he's been doing stuff uh, yeah, up he's, there. Yeah, he's amazing. He's been an amazing asset. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. And uh, I'll see you guys. Well, I'll, I'm sure I'll talk to you before next week. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, happy. Are you guys doing the turkey, the whole bit deal? Or oh, yeah. Traditional. Yeah. Right? Yep. Good deal. Yeah, we invited one of the members over that doesn't Need have. a place to have. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. have anyone here. Oh, so. well, good. Now she does. Yep. Yeah. Come on down and eat. And that's the best part because she just has to sit there and throw food in her mouth and have to <laughs> Clean up or prep or nothing. Well, yep. you got to put up with us. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. Well, it's just easy. Every time you got to say something you don't want to say, you just put priest turkey in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got a solution for everything. I like it. I'm used to saying things I shouldn't say. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. We'll, Thanks, we'll Mike. see you next time. And happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Roswell. Uh, 950.